Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but a buddy of mine got himself into a situation and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to try and make a video out of it. So my buddy got an email from a company that was advertising calling cards for people living in the States who want to call abroad. It's supposed to be super cheap and awesome. Now, unfortunately, it was a scam, and it was a two-part scam because after they took his money uh, to troubleshoot his problems, they actually sent him to this landing page here with designed to steal his credentials. Now, say what you will about scammers and their moralities, but I love that they've envisioned a world where Google and Yahoo and all of these companies are working together. It's actually kind of heartwarming. I mean, look at this thing. You got Google, Shortmail, Inbox.com, Yahoo, Mail.com, Yandex, Zoho, Hushmail. I don't know if you've heard of that one. It's supposed to be a little quiet. It's on the down low, very shh. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. It's Facebook, GMX, Outlook. Um, and it's actually a really good landing page. If you put in information, it will go right through and then error out at the end telling you that there was a problem. Uh, this is done really well. Like I make phishing campaigns and landing pages uh, as part of my day job. And uh, this is way better than anything I put together. So uh, my guess is a page like this, def definitely probably a couple hundred people have fallen for this. So my buddy asked me if I could help, and I told him to call the bank, see if he can get his money back, and I contacted the people that were hosting this website. Um, so far, my buddy hasn't gotten his money, and the website's still up. And here's the other thing. Even if they were to take the website down, uh, the hacker still has a database of whoever has fallen for this. So I decided to do a little reconnaissance, just a simple Nmap scan, and then I threw the URL into Derb. And I found that this actually has another page. It's like a blog, and it's uh, Turkish, and the server is actually also hosted in Turkey, so I imagine that's where the whole operation is coming out of. Uh, I don't speak Turkish, so I can't read the blog. I don't really know what it's about, but that's not really important. What is important is that it's susceptible to SQL injection. So I went ahead and threw in a uh, little test, and it responded, letting me know that it errored out and the actual error. If you're not very technical and you know what that means, I want you to imagine three parts to this entire transaction. The first is the front-end website. That's the web application that will handle whatever request. If you search for something, if you click a button, that goes over to the server. And the server takes that input, whatever you search for, let's say you search for, I don't know, corgis, then it's going to look in the database for the corgi and return whatever information comes out. Now, if you're able to escape the SQL parameter, the actual uh, code, then you can add commands to that request and well the database is just going to return whatever you ask for so that's called sql injection it's actually super simple to solve all you have to do is sanitize user input but whoever set this up was either in a hurry doesn't know better or or secretly wants to get hacked now i could sit here and i could actually manually put in the commands into the url bar and get the information that i want but i don't have that kind of time and neither do you so i'm going to automate the process using sql map SQL map is just a tool that's going to automate the process of going through to figure out more information about the database and the contents within. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what the database name is and the type. All right, so this is our database name, which is cool. Don't really know what the heck that means. It's in uh, Turkish. I'll probably have to blur it out, though, because I don't want to uh, get in trouble. So so now that we have our uh, database name, we are going to get the tables from said database. And boom. Okay, so that's actually a lot of information. Uh, it, the one that's important to us and the one that I probably will keep up is this one. Uh, that's our users. So it looks like there's more information in this database than I initially anticipated, but I don't care about that. So let's see what kind of columns we are dealing with once we get into the users. Let's do that. Ooh, okay. <laughs> nice database, bro. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. So here's the thing. So it looks like the database collects username, password, and other user information, including session ID. That's actually designed by hackers and marketing people to see what campaigns work the best so that they can keep reworking them. I don't care about all that. I want to dump the database, but I don't need all that information. So I'm going to isolate user, uh, password, and email. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so that's amazing. Um, here it, yeah, 1,247 entries. And stored in plain text, which is just lazy. I mean, you're supposed to be hackers, not slackers. What's going on? Took like there's some dupes in here. 
Uh, so if we remove the dupes, maybe like, I don't know, 200, 250 people, that's still a thousand people that fell for this scam. And uh, people use the same passwords across accounts. And a lot of people say, well, who cares, right? I have nothing to hide. Like, I don't care if somebody hacks in my stuff. But this is the wrong way to look at it because the value that you have is that your emails and your accounts and social media are clean. So if somebody infiltrates your life, they can use your accounts to move laterally onto your friends. Because your friends trust you. They're going to open emails from you. It's not going to go to spam. It's going to go straight to their inbox. And all it takes is one person to have the username and password be similar to their work email. Now this person is in a, in a corporate environment. And these kinds of mini mistakes can cost companies hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars. Anyway, I think I'm already in the legal gray, so I'm not going to go any further. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, quit while I'm ahead because anything else would be illegal, obviously. Okay, so something really strange happened. I just came back and uh, I relaunched the attack just because I wanted to check something. Uh, the landing page won't refresh. Um, the database is gone. Literally all those records. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I love situations where they kind of work themselves out. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this video.